Y'all probably like sitting here saying to yourselves, what? Magic Johnson done ended, in, ended up in the bed buck in the Hall of Shame? I told y'all at the beginning of the year, anybody, and I do mean anybody, could end up in the bed bucking or the Blackaron Hall of Shame. Not just the people that you expect to end up in there, but even some people that you didn't see coming. And this is one y'all probably didn't see coming. So the reason why Magic Johnson has ended up in the bed bucking Hall of Shame today is because he has basically started to do the finger wagging thing towards black men when it comes to Kamala Harris. Now, apparently, Magic Johnson has officially endorsed Kamala Harris. Now, again, that is his business. That is not why we're entering him into the Bed Bucking Hall of Shame. It's the fact that, again, he's doing the finger wagging thing and telling black men what they should do with their vote and how to vote. See, this is what I keep talking about. This is exactly why I'm staying neutral and I'm in the middle with the independent thing because you can see both sides of the aisle in all of their BS a mile away, probably a few miles away at this point. And it's so easy to to detect. Sometimes you see it coming before it even happens. So he has now he was at some kind of rally, I believe, in uh, Michigan, because, you know, that's where he's from. And that's where he basically did the finger wagon thing and said in so many words that black men need to vote for Kamala Harris. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read the article because it's going to go into more context as well as give quotes. Kamala Harris rallied in Flint, Michigan Friday and brought along one of the state's most legendary figures to support her. During the rally, NBA legend Magic Johnson made a speech. Johnson was born and grew up in Lansing and attended Michigan State University located in the state's capital. Johnson has long been a supporter of the Democratic Party, previously endorsing Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. When he appeared in Flint, Johnson said black men need to vote, but with a conscience. Well, Magic, what about the black men that probably just simply don't want to vote and for whatever reason that they do not want to vote? See, again, this is what I keep talking about, where they keep trying to tell black men how they need to maneuver and how they need to vote and how to do this and how to do that. And if a black man says, no, I'm going to say vote for the other side or not vote at all, then we become the scum of the earth or we become public enemy number one. When I tell people I'm independent, then they, you know, they throw daggers at me. But you know what? I got my deflectors on. So I'm dodging them things like I'm Neo in the Matrix. Johnson added that black men needed to, quote, understand that Donald Trump did not deliver on promises he made to the black community. Well, he did it. And guess what? She won't either. Do, need I remind you? That this woman said that she's not going to do anything specifically to benefit black people. So she basically told you right there she has no intention of doing anything for black people. And see, Magic, you are in a certain tax bracket where it doesn't matter if she wins or loses. You're going to be good regardless. So they should vote for Harris, Johnson said. He goes on to say, now there's a lot of black men in here, our black men. We got to get them out to vote. That's number one. Johnson said Saturday, Kamala's opponent promised a lot of things last time to the black community that he did not deliver on. Well, she didn't promise anything. And the thing is, now you're stumping for this woman. I'm like, do people not know what this woman has said and who she is saying she's going to do stuff for? Like, do people have a serious wax buildup? That they need to clean. That they did not hear any of this. Because I don't think any of the people that are saying this are deaf. But they're sure like they're acting like it. And they're acting like they're blind as well. You know they said the blind leading the blind. Well this is the deaf leading the deaf. The deaf and the blind leading the deaf and the blind. This is insane. But it's not surprising. He goes on to say, we got to make sure we help black men understand that. So that's why I'm here to make sure I help black men understand first, get out and vote and then vote for the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. We're tired of empty promises. And that comes from either side. But this woman right here in this party has not been, has not promised anything. They say a lot of things, but saying something and doing something is two different things actions speak louder than words i gotta ask people and this goes just beyond magic johnson to all the people that saying stuff like the stuff that magic is saying what do you get out of this because we know we ain't getting nothing out of it 
that's why we not um, leaping at the uh, jumping at the bit to go and vote for these people. What are you getting out of this? I hope you're getting some kind of a contribution because see the thing is Magic Johnson. He doesn't need the money. He has plenty of that. So that's nothing. So Magic, what are you getting out of the deal? To all these other shills, what is your benefit? What are you getting? How are you being rewarded? It says, while Harris is campaigning Saturday in North Carolina, Trump is making his return to Butler, Pennsylvania, site of a July 13th assassination attempt on his life. Of course, they was going to throw that part in there. But then again, I was reading this article off of Fox News. But, man, magic, I hate it had to be you. I really do. But we can't discriminate over here. Magic, this was not the, the take from you that we wanted to see or hear if you like i said if you wanted to get out there and endorse kamala harris fine i would not have into i would not have made a video about him if that was his choice because at the end of the day people are going to do whatever it is that they want to do but when you start saying oh black men need to do this black men need to do that what are black men as a collective getting out of voting for this woman and putting her in as the next president of the united states when we have heard and seen with this woman's track record before she even got in that White House when she was out in California with black men and just black people in general. And again, this woman said she's not going to do anything that's going to benefit only black people. She said that four years ago, back in, in January of 2020, when she had that ultimately failed campaign run to run for president then. So... I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. I can't with the shills. I think the worst part of the shilling thing is when they start doing the, like I said, the finger wagging and saying what we need to do and what we have to do. And if we don't, what you going to do? That's what I'd like to know. If we do not go out and vote for this woman. Well, not even if for me, because guess what? Sidebar. I got my mail in ballot last week. Well, by the time y'all see this video, it would have been a couple of weeks. But I got my mail-in ballot. And guess what? On every section there was a write-in, I wrote something there. I put cut the check. I put couch 2024. I said tangibles, reparations, in qualified immunity, and an anti-black hate crime bill. In every write-in spot that I could find. It was a, spot, a space for each one. And sealed that thing up and sent it back. That's exactly what I did. So when it said but when it has a bubble for write for writing, that's what I bubbled in and then wrote what I just told you in to that that space. But back to this, what I was saying here to Magic Johnson, anyone else with that thought process of saying that black men need to vote for her in this and the third. If we don't, which I didn't, what are you going to do about it? What you going to do? Take our toys away. You're going to put us in timeout. You're going to put us on punishment. You're going to ground us. You want to say we can't play the video game? We we can't get on social media? What are you going to do? Oh, I know what they're going to do. Come election day, if the results don't go the way that they want, they're just going to get online again and get on TV again and bash black men for like a good week or two. And then it's going to blow over and then they're going to move on to the next thing. Why do I say that? It's because we've seen and heard this song and dance routine before in the past, even with lower elections on state level based elections we've seen this so it's nothing new as a matter of fact i welcome it at this point just so i can have a good goddamn laugh at their expense because it's not hurting my feelings it's not hurting my, me at the end of the day i'm gonna still go to sleep i'm gonna still wake up go to the gym do what i gotta do and continue to move on with life and hopefully have as much good health as i possibly can for as long as humanely possible and all the others out there that's going to feel some type of way about it they just gonna have to feel some good goddamn way about it and that is as they say is on that